what's going on guys, EP Action here, back with another video, and you might be surprised what I've got here. Today I got the most amazing Premier League, the most amazing week of Premier League football. Now, basically what happened, this round was back in the 2010 and 11 season, on the 5th of February 2011, this is BBC Football, as you can see it's laid out a bit different, but this week shared one of the most amazing games the Premier League has ever experienced. <clears throat> Some fascinating games win this round. And I'm going to show you every single game and see what happens. The first game was Aston Villa. Obviously, this is a while ago. Uh, Aston Villa and Fulham in the first game drew 2 all, And just said, there was, so, there was like a shed load of goals. So I'm going to move. Sorry. Alright, so this first game was Aston Villa and Fulham. Uh, the, f the goals came from uh, an own goal at 13 minutes. Johnson at 50, I think that's Andy Johnson. 72 minutes, Carl Walker. <laughs> as of strange. And Dempsey at 78. So Fulham just got drilled in, but of course, four goals, pretty good. And then the next game was Everton Blackpool. Yes, that's right. Everton Blackpool. Um, a stunning 5 3 to Everton, eight goals in the game. Obviously, this was Blackpool's only season in the Premier League. I think it will be on the Ah, uh, you never know. They might come back. Louis Sahar got four goals in this match. It was insane. And the crazy thing is that... Uh, so, Sahar got the opener. 37 minutes Blackpool. 47 minutes Sahar again. 62 minutes punch in for Blackpool. Charlie Adam got one after that. Then Sahar completes hat-trick after that. Bankford got them in front as Sahar... Louis Hart got another one, so 5-3, it was an absolute stun on that one, 5-3, um, just action goal pack, and obviously, Blackpool losing a lead, I think they lost a lot of leads, next one was Man City and West Brom, Man City took a comfortable 3-0 win, uh, thanks to Kalistos, why am I saying that, Carlos Devers, who managed to hit a hat trick, uh, first half hat trick, two penalties though, but still, very, very good, and this was, of course, Roberto Di Matteo's, obviously the ex-Chelsea um Chelsea boss too, ex-West Brom, this this was his last game as West Brom manager as he was sacked after that. Oh, poor Di Matteo. Um, next game is Newcastle and Arsenal. What? This has got to be one of the greatest games in Premier League history. Okay, 4 all. that's a pretty good result, 8 goals. But you may be wondering, why is it so amazing? Well, Arsenal were just chilling out, 1 goal, 1 minute, came in, Walcott scored, 3 minutes, they scored again. But Percy scored two, four nil at halftime. You'd be thinking, Newcastle fans, just go, just no. 68 minutes, Barton got a penalty. Mm -hmm. 75, Leon Best. 83 minutes, Barton got another penalty. And Jack Teote scored an absolute wonder goal. I saw the goal. I believe Abu Dhabi, as you can see, with the red card down there. Got sent off for like doing something with Joey Barton, but uh, Joey Barton. Um, but Jack Teote scored an absolute stunner at 87 minutes. It was an amazing goal. And that's probably one of the greatest games ever in Premier League history. I'm not over-exaggerating. It was actually one of the greatest games ever. Stoke and Sunderland. Uh, that was the next game. And that one was, of course, um, that was pretty amazing too. It was an amazing comeback from Stoke to win that game 3-2. And as you can see, Rich Singh got the open at two minutes. Kuru, 32. Gian, uh, he was a brilliant player at 48. Who's got the equaliser? And who's got another one like one of the last kicks of the game? Sunderland, uh, Stoke win 3 2. That's when Steve Bruce was manager, and of course, Tony Pauls was manager of Stoke. Next game, Spurs and Bolton. Um, Spurs managed to creep, creepy crawly past Bolton, of course, when they're on the Premier League. Now they'll be in League One. Uh, 2 1 Spurs, of course, um, Van der Vaart got the penalty. I don't know why they sold him. Sturridge, you guys, 55 minutes, that's when he was on loan there. And Krabja or something, I think he played for QPR a while ago, but he played for, he played for Spurs. He scored in the 92nd minute to give Spurs a victory. It was stunning too. Now, Wigan and Blackburn, a goal feast of a match. This match, Wigan won 4-3. That's right, that is a whole lot of goals. 4-3. And to the goals below, they got the lead for Blackburn, um, Jason Roberts. McCarthy equalised. Roddy Aker, Jen McCarthy again. Christopher Samba and uh, Ben Watson got the penalty to make a 4-2. I think that's... David Dunn got the penalty goal, but Wigan went 4-3. They were obviously strong at the moment, but they made another great survival. And this next game was amazing. Manchester United were unbeaten 
so far come the season, but no, they were struck down by the hands of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Oh dear man, you're funny. Um, the three minutes in, Nani scored, then ten minutes, and another Wolf player scored, and Kevin Doyle scored a forty minutes, and that was it. A stunning win for Wolves. It was their first fair season. And you want to take a look at the ladder. I mean, that's a blast from the past. Look at that. Look at that. Look at all those old clubs. Look at that. Well, not really old. There's still a lot there. But yeah, that was definitely one of the most stunning weeks of football ever in Vendor 3 or 4 or 5. Yeah, eight games out of the ten. Obviously, there was two games, but these were the main games. And stunning week. Sorry for that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a bit of a vintage thing. If you want me to do more of this, make sure to like the video, comment, and sub for daily content. And EP auction will go.